Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and tonight's video is going to be called, or I'm going to call it Knockout Text. I was doing this for someone, and I couldn't ever get it right. It's too many words. I've seen this before with, you know, I'd rather be fishing or something, but um, if you make the fish too big, you lose your part of your text. So I thought of another example, and this is would be how you do it. You, you take a a text, anything you want, and this has already been converted to a curve, and I've already grouped them back together. I spread them out, made them equal, and then I brought in a clip art of a baseball that I traced, and just put it about where you think it is, and then go up to your contour tool and apply a contour. See the contour now? Now I'm going to click on my baseball and I've got a 10 inch offset so I'm going to move it out of the way. One thing I did not do, I did not break my contour apart. So now get your baseball and move it out of the way and take this all and select them go both and go up to the weld tool but hit trim. Then move this out of the way and move your baseball back. So now you've got a baseball inside of a text. And of course, you'd have to, if you're an engraver, you'd have to change this to red, but it's a pretty neat effect. This baseball particular didn't, it's kind of messed up because it's got some things going on here. But uh, if you put in a fish, and um, I was just playing around with this for somebody that asked me how to do it, and um, they'd sent me a picture of a t shirt, but it was, I'd rather be fishing and, and they had it, it looked pretty neat, but she wanted, or they, a, a bad day of fishing is better than a good day at work. Well, there's some cases it's just not going to work, I guess, but that's a pretty neat little trick to, uh, I'm going to call it knockout text. Anyway, hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.